had a conversation with my friend Rook today, who is a genius at a certain kind of midwifing creativity, giving giving birth and form to things that are trying to come through. And I had a really, yeah, really great conversation and just a wonderful um, insight come through because I had, she asked me a question. She said, you know, the cabaret that you're doing, actually answering the question in, inwardly. I, I realized there was a step that I was jumping over. Because when I was asked the question, what experience do I want to have? There's a little voice in my head that went, I want to be recognized. I want to be seen to be a genius. I want to be marveled at how remarkable my performance is, how incredibly beautifully I'm stitching together these various elements. I want to be a genius. I want to be seen as a genius. And what 
what I realized was that was the step that my, that's what my ego was saying. And I almost didn't hear it. I almost just leapt right over that part and got to the part where I talked about, well, I want people to be able to deeply resonate with what I'm saying and hopefully find some clarity, you know, through my exploration of these insights and this process of letting the moment speak, letting what wants to come through right now speak, allowing other people to have the, the same experience and allow our, us to create kind of a cascade of, of uh, you know, almost like nuclear fission, like one insight sparks a bunch of other insights and there's just like ripple effect of insight happening. I almost jumped to that answer without even realizing that actually my ego already had an answer that I was about to skip over and therefore inevitably pursue unconsciously because I wasn't willing, I almost wasn't willing to look at it and see, oh, that's just kind of a self-centered sort of coming from insecurity, coming from needing affirmation, coming from something's wrong with me kind of answer. I want to be a genius. I want to be seen to be a genius. I want to be recognized in all my... In all my pianistic and philosophical glory. And it made me realize just... living that desire and thinking that I was making a spiritual cabaret. What if, what if I did that? What if I just thought that I was making a cabaret about people coming together and sharing insight and allowing the moment to speak? And actually, I was making a cabaret all about how Robin's ego wants to be recognized. It'd be the most boring cabaret ever. And I would lose the chance to see that darkness in myself, to see that aspect of myself that I obviously don't want to look at, don't want to acknowledge. I didn't really want to come here today and talk about that. Like, but then what came out was this hilarious image of like, what if that ego could be a puppet just sitting on the piano? And it's like, well, how do I want to be seen, ego? You know, what do you want to be seen like, ego? Well, it's like a combination of like Vladimir Horowitz, and Albert Einstein, and Ken Wilber, the philosopher, and Chick Corea, and Quincy Jones. Who else? Like everybody my ego has ever wanted to be. Barack Obama, any, anybody that I feel like is an admirable, beautiful thing I'd like to embody and, and, and be perceived as being as great as. What if it was just a puppet? And I set it over there, and, I, and when it activated, I could realize who's talking and not confuse it with the voice of the space. So I think the main... The main takeaway today was that that voice is there. Quickly, I almost missed it. How quickly I almost just leapt right over it, didn't acknowledge it, and and I and I was I watched my mind almost go to and like stuff it back down, and, and and where it would of course run the show, because now it's like operating in total stealth mode. Can't see it. Not allowed to look there. Can't I have no idea what it's doing. It's pulling all these strings. It's operating all the levers. It's steering the stage. It's sending. It's making everything happen from backstage because I won't put it on stage. You know, right here, right here. So 
That was big today. Because I realized that anytime I'm avoiding creating this thing, it's because of something that doesn't want to be seen. There's no reason for me to avoid doing something I love doing. Unless, somehow bound up in that, is there is a sense of like protecting myself from something that I don't want to have be seen being exposed. And that was that was a big one today because I it was like I I met it was like it was cruising by about to go and I was like what was that? Whoa! And just looked at that thought. And now, the amazing thing is. As I try to answer the question, what's the experience I'm trying to create in this cabaret? I don't know that I know the answer. But I'm excited by the question. I don't feel like it's a question that I can get wrong. Because as long as there was an answer that was true for my ego, that I was hiding, I had a sensation of being able to get the answer wrong because the answer might somehow reveal the truth. Now, I just get to decide what do I want to create for myself? What does my being want to create? What am I here to say and give? What do I want to leave you with? That's where I'm at today, people. Big one. Thanks for watching. You'll be hearing more about this very topic, I'm sure. I appreciate you. Thanks for engaging and commenting, having this conversation with me. Much, much love. I'll see you soon.